Hello everyone. Today I will discuss assignment 10 for the course Fuzzy Set Logic and System and Application. In this assignment, question number 10 is wrong, right? Mm, question number 1 to 4 are of similar type. So in question 1 to 4, what we have to find out? We have to find out contrast intensification, right? So basically, according to the value of membership value, we have to apply these particular two formulas. Right. When the membership value lies between 0 and 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 not included. Right. So in this particular case, we have to consider this particular value. When value lies between uh, more than 0 0.5 and up to 1, just we have to consider this particular case. One more important thing when the value lies between 0 to 0.5 then new value membership value must be decreased and when the value lies between 0.5 and 1 then new membership will, value will be increased when what will be happen when the membership value will be equal to 0.5 and 0.1 so in both the cases the new membership value will be same right so these new membership value will be same so just we will calculate so this is the question number one which is being asked so universe of discourse is this one and we are having the uh, fuzzy set a having membership value with fuzzy element so these two particular two fuzzy element one and two both having the value less than 0.5 so in both the cases this formula will be applicable a will be replaced with the membership value that's it so uh, and fuzzy element three and four having the value 0.5 and one so in both the cases this formula will be applicable right so just uh, point 0.1 right uh, what we have to do point 0.1 to multiply by point 0.1 ka square so 0 0.1 square will be equal to 0 0.01 right 0 0.1 ka square so this will be equal to uh, 0 0.02 and 4.3 okay 4.3 again apply this formula and new value will be equal to 0.18 so I already told you when the value in between 0 and 0.5 new membership value will be decreased so 0.1 reduced to 0 0.02 0 0.3 reduced to 0.18 and for next membership value 1 so in 1 we have to apply this particular formula so in this particular formula there is a, a miscalculation or we can say there is a one bracket is missing that's why we are unable to solve this question so this mean this means negation this sign represent the negation uh, after negation I applied the uh, bracket to multiply again negation 1 so negation 1 mean 1 minus 1 okay or we can say it is a type of complement 1 minus 1 so this will be equal to this right so 1 minus 1 0 2 multiply by 0 so this will be 0 again negation 1 so negation, negation 1 minus 1 minus 0 1 minus 0 so again final output will be equal to 1 in the similar way 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 just replace a with 0 0.5 so negation 0 0.5 this will be this so 1 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 square will be equal to 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 multiply by 2 again uh, it will be equal to 0 0.5 right 0.5 so next this will be the negation of 0.5 subtract 1 minus 0.5 so final answer will be 0.5 when the membership value will be equal to 0.5 or 1 so new membership value will be same right so this will be. so this will be our uh, solution for next four questions so question one uh, what will be the membership function value at generic variable 2 generic variable 2 for 2 point one eight right so for two point so option c will be correct one generic variable four so consider generic variable four 
and 44 member new membership will be equal to 0.5 so 0.5 question 3 genic variable 1 so this is genic variable 1 having the new membership value 0 0.02 so option b is correct one question 4 membership function value at genic variable 3 right for 3 this is the element 3 and having the new membership value equal to 1 so 1 option a is the correct one question 5th to 8th are of similar type just we have to follow the uh, orthogonality property in orthogonality property if there are multiple uh, fuzzy set and having some membership value just uh, that membership value must be equal to 1 so this with the help of example it will be more clear <coughs> So this is the question and in this fuzzy set A is given this one, fuzzy set B is given this one and the question is being asked for fuzzy set C, right? So this is fuzzy set A, this is fuzzy set B. So in fuzzy set A, only two elements are given, 1 and 2, 1 and 2, right? So we have to expand with uh, universe of discourse, element 3 having membership value 0 and member uh, fuzzy element 4 having the uh, membership value 0. For fuzzy element B, uh, it is having only 3 and 4 element. Uh, 3 and 4, these two elements are there, right? So just expand for fuzzy element 1 and 2, but both having the membership value 0. Now we have to create a new fuzzy uh, set C, and uh, in this scenario, what we have to take care we have to take care that element uh, we have to take care that membership value of a particular column for fuzzy element 1 must be equal to 1 so 0 0.50 uh, subtract from 1 so for fuzzy element 1 membership value equal to 0.5 in this case also uh, fuzzy element membership value must be equal to 1 so already 1 0 0 so it will be again 0 for third element membership value again will be equal to 1 so in this case it is 1 therefore for new element it must be equal to 0 for last for fuzzy element 4 0 0.8 so this will be equal to 0 0.2 right 0 0.2 so actually this will be our next four questions answer this fuzzy set c so question number fifth we are having the universe of discourse and uh, what will be the membership function value at generic variable 2 so generic variable 2 for fuzzy element fuzzy set c for fuzzy set c for fuzzy uh, element 2 value will equal to 0 <coughs> again generic variable 4 and we have to consider fuzzy set c so fuzzy set c now the membership value for generic variable 4 will equal to 0 0.2 so option d is correct one right and uh, question number seven uh, fuzzy set c and generic variable one so for one it will equal to 0.5 so correct answer is option b question number eight fuzzy set c and uh, generic variable value three three so again three for three it will be equal to zero so fuzzy option c is correct one question number nine for a fuzzy if then rule using if x is w then y is z right which of the following statement are true x is w is called the antecedent and y is called the consequent this statement is correct one more thing antecedent is also known as the premise and consequence also known as the conclusion so option um, b and d both are the correct and it is multi type select question multi type not mcq question number 10 which of the following are not the building block of fuzzy inference system in basic fuzzy inference system fuzzy fire required so fuzzy fire required d fuzzy fire d fuzzy fire inference engine inference engine is also there and fuzzy rule fuzzy rule so all these are required or a part of fuzzy inference system so all these are the part of fuzzy inference system but the question is which of the following are not building blocks so at least one option must be there which are not the part of fuzzy inference system 
but somehow uh, they not provided this one that's why uh, the statement is wrong and uh, you can take any option uh, i put it option e none of the above and i already sent them a feedback regarding the same and thank you so much uh, see you soon for the assignment 11 and uh, in the last six to seven assignment we are already having 100 percent accuracy so best of luck and i will update or some three to four videos for final assessment which will be examined on 29th of april so that you can get 100 percent marks without any doubt just see the uh, that videos um, that video will be approximately 30 to 40 minutes and uh, of course you will get 100 percent marks thank you so much